Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Comfort and Joy with Lady Curry, come bake with me. So here you see me going in with my three cups of leveled flour. And here you have me adding one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and I'm whisking them together and I'm gonna set them aside. Now I have my one cup of buttermilk and I'm adding my one teaspoon of vanilla, uh, lemon, one teaspoon of vanilla and one cap full of almond extract and I'm giving them a whisk and I am setting them aside. Now I am going to add my two sticks of room temperature butter to my mixer, my stand mixer, KitchenAid. And I am clearing the ducks a little bit. And here I am, I'm going in with three cups of granulated sugar and I'm waiting in between each addition so that my mixture, my butter and sugar mixture, won't be grainy. Um, it's important to make sure that the sugar gets incorporated to the butter so you can get a silky and smooth cake batter. So there you see me grab my Gold Series, um, I think it's Anniversary Edition cake pan that I love from Williams and Sonoma. And I'm going in with my pastry brush that I use specifically to butter my pans. I wanna get into all those cracks and crevices of my cake pan so when I flour that it hits and gives me a nice clean surface so all of my my cake will um, come away from the cake pan when I turn it out so you see me when I walk off camera I'm um, flouring my cake pan over my sink so there you see I have a beautiful smooth and even cake pan that's buttered and floured and here you see me just letting my um, sugar and uh, butter mixture incorporate even more. Now I'm going in with my six room temperature eggs and I'm cracking them into a smaller bowl so I can control if I get an eggshell before I uh, incorporate it into my batter, I can fish out an eggshell. So that's always a good tip to um, do Make sure that when you're adding eggs to anything and you're cracking them over something, crack them into a smaller bowl first so that way if you get a shell, you don't ruin the whole batter or whatever you're, you're doing. You don't ruin your pancakes, you don't ruin your cookies, any of that. So now here I am about to go in to incorporate my dry and wet mixture. Starting with your dry, going with your wet, do your uh, dry again. Do your final addition of your wet, and then you're ending with your dry. So you're incorporating, you're alternating dry, wet, dry, wet, dry. And here you see me scraping down my bowl so I make sure that all that batter is being incorporated. I don't get any pockets of um, uneven or um, batter that's not um, incorporated evenly. So that's why you get wet spots sometimes if you don't scrape down your bowl your batter is not blended evenly. And here I am just cleaning and clearing the decks and I'm about to add my silky smooth batter to my cake pan. And it's good to level it off so you'll see me level off my top there. Getting every bit possible. And she's going into a 350 degree preheated oven and look there she is the golden child gorgeous she's going to sit there and rest for about five ten minutes and the sides will pull away from the cake and i'm going to turn her out and sit her on a cooling rack and then once she rests and cools for about another 10 15 minutes i'm going to top her off with some uh, powdered sugar or glaze so this time i did powdered sugar and i hope and pray that this video has inspired someone to bake from scratch, and I hope my video has given you some comfort and some joy. Please like and share, and click subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, friends, may your...